In today's video, we're opening the new Age of Overlord Yu-Gi-Oh set. What's up guys, we're back with another brand new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. This is going to consist of the newest set, Age of Overlord. It's been like a month since our last new set, which is good, as I mentioned in my previous video a couple months ago about how we're printing too many sets. But don't worry guys, there's gonna be one in two weeks, Rarity Collection, which I am extremely excited about because there's gonna be some amazing openings involving that set. But before we get to that one, this one is actually a really hyped up set. There are two insanely good cards in Age of Overlord that have had people up in arms making videos like, oh, is this destroying Yu-Gi-Oh and all this stuff. So apparently these two cards are really, really strong. One of them's SP the Little Knight. The other one, I don't actually know the name. I was just told about this thing. It's like an anti-Zeus. So I'm excited to try and pull these today. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every card we pull in this video. If it's a 25th anniversary rare, if it's one of those big secrets, you can win that. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card in the set. Also, don't forget to check out the community tab. I've been posting every Friday with winners and a lot of you guys have been claiming them, but they're not all claimed. So go check it out, see if you want. All right, let's get to it. If I sound a little under the weather, it's because I just got back from Disney and I was, uh, may or may not have been yelling a lot, you know, going crazy and now my voice hurts. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to recover. I just got back last night at like 2.30 a.m. So it's been a long trip, but I got back at perfect time for the new, brand new set, Age of Overlord. Couldn't miss this one because this is supposed to be a banger set. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's see if we can pull something crazy in our first video. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's see, we have 48 packs to open today. Will we pull? Okay, on these first ones, I think I'm just gonna go through it normally. No pack trick. I know a lot of you guys uh, who are old school are like, oh, the pack trick. So this is perfect for you guys. You don't have to watch the pack trick, even though I am a big fan of it. I do want to get to, uh, you know, the first opening I like to make it pretty quick, let you guys just kind of look at the cards and uh, you know, oh, that's a Ruxin special. We don't have to go too slow here. Let's just kind of get through it. And there's a couple of big comments here as well. Uh, I don't remember what they're called, but I do know what one of them looks like. So once I see it, um, Nick was helping me out when I was at Disney, he was actually helping us with some Disney tips and tricks, but uh, he was showing me some of the cards. He actually brought me a sneak peek that I got to open. If we pulled anything crazy, I was gonna post it, but we pulled a couple of good cards, but it wasn't like, you know, a 25th anniversary or anything. So I didn't post it or anything, but uh, I know a couple of the cards are pretty nice. Origami, we have Loka, we have Watt Kingdom, pretty cool. I have not seen the two commons yet that are pretty big. At the time, they were like $2 commons when he was showing me. This is before the release. Keep in mind, guys, before you go crazy, see the prices, a lot of people will watch this and go, oh, the prices are way off, you know, because they'll watch it on Friday. And Friday is when TCG Player allows all sellers to post their cards for sale for the new set. And once they do that, there's a lot more competition. The prices go down. So keep that in mind that the prices right now are going to be based on pre-release. So they're gonna be a little bit higher on most cards. But I can't predict the future and that's all we can do. We can only do the pre-release prices because it's just it's just not time yet for the other prices. We don't know them. Curse, I've literally rushed and specialed every single one. Asset, Mountis, look at that card. That is an amazing looking card. Is that Scyther, but like, you know, he's a he's a Pharaoh or something. We have Return of the Destina. Gaia Prominence, the Fierce Force. More Gaia cards. That's actually kind of fun. TG Close. Okay, so, so far we got one Ultra, the Vanquished Soul, Zhang Long. I didn't even say the name earlier. Sorry, guys. I was in a little bit of a chat there. We have Master Tiao, not Rux and Specialty. Pit Knight, Philly. Philly, nice. <laughs> Embrace, YCS Philly. We have Startling. We have Rose Papillon. We have Wad Kingdom. Okay, Wad Kingdom is not a card. Why do I feel like that was a card already? Interesting, I guess it wasn't because this is a core set, so no reprints. Pendulum, Lilla Rap, Snake Eye Oak, okay. Loka Samsara, Vanquish Soul, Immortal, and Fallen of Testina. Still searching for that new stuff. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, we've had a, a decent amount of new subscribers recently, which is pretty cool. But if you're watching and you are not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because wait, Okay, no, I don't think that was it. Uh, but yeah, don't forget because, you know, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. I really appreciate it. And we are going to continue to have new openings. Wait, this might be it. And the Super Star Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis. Look at that name. Wait, is this the Zeus? This is the big card. It's an ultra rare. 
I didn't realize it was an ultra rare. Wait a second. Holy crap. What is this thing going for? It's only an ultra, so it's actually going to be a lot easier to pull. This is what I say I love about new sets, and it seems like this set is doing a lot of that. When they have great cards at different rarities, so I know the SP, well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a secret rare. This one's an ultra, and then there's two great commons. So there's a lot of value at different rarities, making it possible for you to have like an insanely good box. Like, let's say you pull a bunch of those commons, like 10 copies, that's like 20 bucks right now. Then you pull this card, then you pull the secret rare, like you more than make your money back, which is always something you want when you open a Yu-Gi-Oh pack, like just to have the potential to do that makes it a lot better. And I was noticing this card, this is the other one. This is the one he didn't show me, but this is, they work together. So Ken, the warrior dragon kind of goes with Jin, the diamond tiger. They're kind of like a, a duo that work together. So that's a really good card as well. That pack was insane. All right, these boxes are really good so far. Really, really good. Let's see if we can keep this up. We have a uh, Tarai, Lilla Rap, we have Pit Knight. And by the way, that's a Ruxa special. We will be doing a live stream opening this up. I am planning on going to YCS Indy this weekend. So we wouldn't be able to do it on Saturday. So I think I'm going to do it early Friday, maybe like, like noon or something like that. And we're going to open up a bunch of packs and try and get some nice cards. Uh, so that way I can still like go to Philly that same day. I think that's kind of the plan as of right now We normally do three videos and then a stream I think we're gonna do this video a case opening tomorrow and then we're gonna open uh, more packs on Friday live So if you guys want to be here for the YouTube live stream, there's Ken again. It's a good one another rocks and special uh, Then just hit that subscribe button turn on notifications. You guys will see it But just plan for it to be on Friday if you guys want to show up it's gonna be fun there's gonna be a lot of opening. There's gonna be hopefully a lot of great pulls uh, because we've had some lives recently where they did not have great pulls in terms of the new sets. Oh, Secret Rare again. I mean, Secret Rare is great. Rux's special is not great. Snake Eyes Flamberg Dragon, that is a Secret Rare. That looks nice. Is it actually a nice card? I'm not sure. All right, 15 bucks. So the GI Joe card is not bad. Snake Eyes is looking pretty decent right there. So $15 secret. Usually when that comes out, it's gonna go down quite a bit, $5, $2, you know, something like that. But as of right now, $15 looks super solid. Transcendosaurus, Exoraptor, more dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs, that's great. A link card for them. Uh, another Roxas special to a secret. I can't help it. Arius, the Labyrinth Butler. Another Labyrinth card? The Labyrinth Butler. I wonder what this one does. Hand trap to set a trap. Okay, this card's pretty cool. So it's a hand trap for Labyrinth that then sets a trap that allows them to also activate that trap the same turn. So they can discard this card, set the trap, then use the trap on the same turn. Then if they respond to the trap, they could special this from the graveyard. So that seems like it might have some use. Seems like a pretty awesome card. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I don't play the meta a ton or anything, but it seems like a good effect. The question is, how does it fit in to the actual game? That, I mean, Labyrinth is a decent deck. A lot of people don't like it because it's, you know, it's pretty stolly and whatever. You could flood Gatey and all that stuff, Burning Dragon. So there's a lot of reasons not to like it. I liked playing it. Gin, there we go. The Diamond Tiger. First one of those. So Gin and Kin. Here's the dynamic duo of commons that you want to pull out. I don't know if they're actually gonna hold on. Like once we get to Friday, it's gonna be hard for commons to actually be worth over a dollar because you know, you pull so many of them. But if they're actually that usable, they might actually be our first $1 common in quite a while in New Yu-Gi-Oh. Good stuff so far. Let me just keep going. We have a Supreme King Gate Magician. We have Rose Papillon. Two secrets pulled already. Only a couple ultras. One of the best ultras though. So we can't complain. We have a, speaking of ultras, Tainted of the Tastina. Very nice, Tastinas are getting more cards. Gotta look through all these comments. That's gonna make the live stream Friday. If it's over a dollar, look at the, for these, uh, the Kin and the, what was the other one called? Kin and Zin and Jin, Kin and Jin, there we go. Uh, that's gonna make that take a lot longer because going through all the commons, you know, I usually start skipping through the commons after a while, but uh, if you can't skip through them for $2 cards, then I mean, I will be happy with it because that'll help me make my money back on these cases, which, a lot of times it is pretty difficult, but if you have a commons making you back $2 a pop, that'll definitely help. Tainted of the Testina, ultra rare. But from what I'm seeing there, we're not pulling a ton of them. So I think we have one gin and a couple of kins. So, I mean, three out of two boxes is not that crazy. Let's see if we pull any more synchro rumble. They're not gonna be that common at that point. And if they're that rare, I think they actually will probably stay above $2. We'll see how many we get exceed the pendulum. We'll be able to tell a little bit better tomorrow. I'll probably pull out all of them from our case opening. 
and uh, kind of just see what the ratio for our, our case was. Visa Samsara, another secret rare, more visas, very cool. All right, we're probably over halfway through. This one's a little bit longer because I've been chatting a little bit more about the new cards than I normally do. Sometimes I just fly through a Ken, but this time I have a little bit more insight on what the good cards are. Sometimes I go in completely blind. This time I had a little bit of an update, uh, thanks to Nick at Disney World. Um, but uh, so that, you know, slowing it down a little bit, but that, that can hopefully add some value to you guys who don't really know about the new set. I can hopefully at least exceed the pendulum. Cool. Uh, let you know about some of the big cards that are coming out. Here we go. Let's see if we can continue the pulls. We have Ken again, so more Kens. Ken seems to be the one we're pulling. What is that name? That's gonna have a, sh that's gonna be Queb. That's gotta be the short name. But the protection of forest, well, I, let's see if anybody uses that. I highly doubt it. Come on, Angel of Ol Overlord. <laughs> I actually really like the look of these uh, these packs too. I like the, okay, Neph the Best, the Ogdoidic. Okay, Ogdoidic, not crazy. I like the yellow and the green together. I think that's a pretty cool Green Bay Packer style. Let's see what we can get here. Full armor, Dark Knight Lancer, another Ultra. That's pretty good, except it's full armor. Are those any good? I'm guessing not too crazy if I had to, you know, go out on a limb there, but you never know. Sometimes there's good cards that come from archetypes that are not good because they're generic. Uh, we have a Burfamet. Burfamet, the mythical king of Phantom Beasts is in here. Burfamet getting an upgrade again. That's pretty cool. Invisible alien species. Is that a new, is that a new archetype? Invisible alien species. Is that different from aliens, like regular aliens? So which point? It sounds really cool, except for the fact that we already have an alien archetype. Maybe it's just an extension of those. Uh, that would be a little, uh, so there's aliens and then invisible aliens. Seed spitting saplings. Watch out for those guys, the ints. Okay, also, is that stand for Invisible Alien Species? Is this redundant? Are they saying it twice, or is that just showing you what it means? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out, guys. Trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, Miracle of the Supreme King. Embrace of Testina. Okay, these kind of got stuck. Okay, none of the big boys in there. We have UFO Light. UFO. Maybe our UFO Roid will go up in value. Probably not. We have Ken. Again. Ken again. TG Limiter Removal. Secret Rare. TGs are getting Secret Rares these days? What in the world? That's a $3 secret in pre-order. So that is going to be like a 20 cent secret. Okay. Which I could have guessed that to be honest, based off TGs getting secret rares. There's more TG. So that's probably the dud archetype in here. Uh, unless TG has just been completely revamped, which based on that price of that secret rare, I'm guessing not. And maybe that's just the bad one. Who knows? But yeah, that's not looking too promising. TG, uh, probably the dud of this new set, but Star Dragon Cycle. I'm sure the TG fans are excited, but there's a gin. I haven't seen you in a while. Card Scanner, a little bit of a return of the Card Trader from Duel Links, which apparently they now have, uh, what's it called? And then a Rush Duel, which is pretty fun. We have Snake Eye Ash. What else can we get? Watuna, Master Tayo, the Chanter. What is going on with that card? That is creepy. Pit Knight and Switch Point again, switching those train tracks. All right, what are we at? Three, six, seven packs left. Here we go. We have Watts. Any more big cards? Starry Dragon. We need a 25th because I think we've pulled a four secrets, which means we're unlikely to get another one. But the 25th should be independent on its own. Realm Energy. Maybe we can grab one so you guys can win it at the last second. Five packs left. Either way, you're getting some pretty nice cards. You got the... Uh, the anti-Zeus, as it's called, or nicknamed, Fire Recovery. You're getting some nice secret rares, besides the TG card. <laughs> but other than that, pretty good. Who knows, maybe you're a TG fan. We have a TG <laughs> Glaive Blaster. Hopefully you are, because that is two copies of the TG Glaive Blaster. All right, Guy of Prominence. That's gonna be the one we continue to pull, is the, the TG cards. We'll keep pulling those in the live stream, I have a feeling. I have a feeling maybe the video tomorrow. We have Ken, we have Transcendosaurus. We have this one, just they stick to the next card. Armor Fortress, Turn of the Testina. Two more packs. Two more chances at a 25th anniversary. Come on, guys, send me some luck in the comments. Hit that subscribe button for luck. Here we go. We have a Odd Eyes Arcray Dragon. Arcray, it's like an arcade, but an A at the end. All right, final pack, last pack, Magic Page of Overlord. If you guys are enjoying this new set and you want to see more tomorrow, we will have a case opening, so don't forget to go check it out. Maybe you can see some ratio stuff there. Now you guys like to see that. And then we'll really double down on that ratio stuff on Friday with more cases open live on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, turn notifications for that. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. Last pack, Magic, and this new opening. That's pretty good. Ken. Uh, Discordance. We have Watkayuki. We have Nimleria. Does that looks like... This looks like uh, 
Nimleria looks like pudding sis. That's what Madolce. There we go. Not pudding sis. But I guess it's not. I guess this is another archetype because it's mentioning Nimleria. That's kind of interesting. And uh, Snake Eye Ash. So we are not ending it with the 25th anniversary. I don't have to go crazy, which is good because my throat is kind of hurting right now. Hopefully it makes it through for the case opening tomorrow in the live stream Friday. So I hope to see you guys there. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DN, American Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.